Hello everyone! Welcome! Today, we are going to learn how to add and organize pages on Weebly on the iPad. Let's get started! First, open up to Weebly. Next, log in. Remember, for your email address, don't put in your actual email. Type in your first initial, middle initial if you have one, your entire last name, and your graduation year. For your password, type in capital BMS and your student ID. Once you have logged in correctly, you will open up to the screen. Click the website button at the bottom of your screen. Then click edit site. Now, to add and organize your pages, you will open up to your home screen. Click the page icon in the top right of your iPad. This icon looks like a page and is right next to the plus button. You will see a box pop up. To add a page, click the plus button at the upper left hand corner of the box. Title your page whatever you want it to be. For starters, your Weebly needs to have a blog page, an academics page, a me page, and a citations page. Make sure that in the header type, you select header. Then, save your page. It will automatically open up to the page that you just created. Click the page icon again. When you scroll all the way down, you can see your new page highlighted in blue. Continue repeating the same process until you have all of your classes, your academics page, me page, blog page, and citations page, just like I have here. You will notice that some of my pages are indented, while yours may look like this, with all of the pages at the same level. To organize your pages, you have to organize them into categories and into subpages, which is a web page that appears below the top level pages in your site navigation. To do this, click the reorder button right next to the plus button. It looks like three lines with an arrow pointing up. First, reorder them into the order that you want them to be, just by dragging them, like so. have organized your pages into the order that you want them to be, organize them into categories and make them subpages. Sixth grade would be under the academics category. So what you would do is indent the sixth grade page under the academics page. So it looks like that it is under the academics page. You can also make a subpage of a subpage. Math 6-7 honors would go under the 6th grade category, so indent it even more so it appears that it is under the 6th grade. Continue doing this until all of your pages are organized. Here is the end result. As you can see, I have 6th and 7th grade under indented under the academics category and under 6th grade I have all of my 6th grade classes and under 7th grade I have all of my 7th grade classes. This makes my website ultra organized and easy to navigate. When you are done organizing your pages, click the done button. Congratulations! You have finished adding and organizing pages in your Weebly. All you have to do now is click Preview in the top right hand corner of your iPad, then click Publish. We're done!
Thanks for watching.